Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are doing well and having a really good week so far. I am filming in the living room a bit randomly because Jonah is at the end of his nap and he's on the verge of waking up. So I'm gonna try and film this. Um, and we're going out for a pub tea shortly as well. So I'm gonna try and film this because I just wanted to share some of the bits and bobs that I found in B&M um, okay. yesterday. I picked all of this stuff up. So at the minute I'm just, if Jonah falls asleep in a particular place, like in his Moses basket in the living room, I'm just going with the flow and trying to stay in here and do things in here rather than move him whilst he's enjoying his nap. So I've got myself a nice cup of tea, in one of my favourite M&S mugs. My sister got me this one, it's really cute. It's got like people baking on it, which is really sweet. Um, so yeah, get yourself a nice drink of your choice. Get yourself some nice biscuits or treats and have a look at what I found in B&M recently. So I do have a couple of things in here that I'm going to put with Grant's first ever Father's Day present. So Grant, if you happen to be watching this, please stop now. <laughs> I'll show you some of these bits first, just because they're at the top of this bag. Um, but the first thing I found was this Back to the Future cereal. And I mean, it's one of those really random things that you find in V&M. But Back to the Future is Grant's all time favorite film. We've actually been to see the theatre version in the West End and he just loves it. So I saw this and I thought, I've got to get him this. It's basically Nesquik in a Back to the Future themed box. But yeah, I just thought that would be a fun little thing to give him. Oh, and I think that that was a few pounds. I think it was just a couple of pounds. Um, and then I also got a bottle of Doomba because that is his favourite. I'm trying to talk a little bit quieter because... He's upstairs and he's just come out of the shower. Um, and then I also found this called Trooper, which is a premium British beer. Um, and it is created by Iron Maiden. So I thought that was a bit down Grant Street. I thought he'd like that. So I've got these to go with his present as well. And I think these were about £1.80 each. Oh, and then... I also picked this up to go with his present and it's this Sunny D. Comment below if you remember Sunny D. Like this was a 90s favourite. This was like elite level drink. It's the Tangy Florida Citrus Fusion, which I think is just the original orange flavour. But yeah, this was like a pound. So I got that. I know that this is like a bit of a novelty thing that he'll like. And then other foodie bits, I got this six pack of Iron Brew. I think that this was about £2.20 for the six pack. So it works out really good um, per can. And we always like to have these when we have um, people around helping us do DIY or when we're going out for the day or something like that. It's just nice and easy to grab one of these instead of buying loads of drinks whilst we're out. So I always pick up some cans when I see them, they're a good deal. I got one of the Dolmio tomato and cheese sauce for pasta bake. I like to do this in like a big family size portion and then I'll do um, like some sausage to go with it and some veggies and kind of mix it all together. Um, and the pasta, I will portion it up and then freeze some of it. So it's like um, a few frozen ready meals for us. And these are really good value in B&M. I think this was like a pound something. I can't remember exactly, but I usually get one of these and I usually get a couple of the sauces for lasagnas as well. But I didn't need any this time. So yeah, I got one of those. Oh, and I also picked up a couple of these Maggie garlic seasoning bags um, for chicken. So you literally just add your chicken and veg um, in this bag, it seasons it. And yeah, it's just nice and easy. It just helps to season your chicken um, and just with some like rice or veggies, that makes a nice quick, 
easy meal and these were I think about 70 pence each packet and then I got some of the fruit salads in light syrup I love these I don't know if it's a bit of a 90s thing you know the fruit salad that you could get in cans but I would, can't eat a full can to myself and then I'd forget about it so these little pots are perfect I like that I can just grab one of these as a snack um, and these you don't actually have to put in the fridge unless you open them and like want half or something so it's good to just be able to keep these in the cupboard and you can just grab one as and when you want and you get four in this little pack oh and then I did get some wham bars which seem to be a bit of like a hot commodity at the minute I usually get them from um co-op but they don't seem to have had any for ages and I haven't been able to see them anywhere for ages either so I don't know why these haven't been in stock anywhere but these are one of my all-time favorite sweets I love these I like to pop them in the fridge so that they're nice and cold and then just like break them up into pieces but yeah I got a couple of those and that is all of the food items that I got a bit randomly I got this faux leather dog collar for Indy and I actually thought it was really nice because it's this like pale pink colour and when we're out on walks at the minute her collar is like it's a really nice um like beige herringbone type kind of pattern but because of that a lot of people always think that she's a boy so I thought a nice pink collar would be good and yeah I really like the colour of this one and the fact that it's got this little charm on which is really cute and the silver metal detail this was seven pounds and it does say that there's a matching lead available we've got one of the extendable leads so, so we don't use it um, but apparently for a large it should fit like a retriever or a collie so I'm hoping this will fit because she has got a really big neck <laughs> but on the largest it's like that big so I think hopefully that should fit but yeah that was seven pounds and they had a really nice selection of different dog collars and leads in and then onto cleaning products I got a little bit of a restock of some things so I needed to get a new hand wash Um I have quite a few different like containers in each of our bathrooms and I normally just buy like a big hand wash and just go around and fill up each container so this was the astonish protect and care antibacterial hand wash with soothing moisturizer vitamin e and this one was just one pounds um for 600 ml which is really good value so i picked up one of those oh and i got this cute new um extendable mini noodle duster so this one was just one pound fifty and it's like a telescopic extender with these little dusty bits on um, and I wanted I have got like a main big duster but I wanted this one for things like the bedside lamps in our room are mounted on the wall and they're quite um, narrow is that the word yeah they're quite like narrow so I wanted something a bit smaller to be able to like get inside the glass um, and just in like little nooks and crannies that kind of thing and um, this one was just pound fifty, so I thought I'd pick up one of these and try it. I did get a couple of bits that I've been really wanting to try so I really wanted to try the like toilet bowl fizzers where you put I think it's a tablet that you yeah so it's a tablet that you drop into the toilet bowl and then it fizzes up and you leave it for a bit so I got some of these which is the Astonish toilet bowl fizz and fresh deep cleaning foam action and this one is in the scent eucalyptus I think you basically pop it in and then leave it for like 20 minutes um, and it is supposed to do a really good deep clean so I've never tried these but I've seen them obviously all over TikTok I'm sure you've seen them everywhere too but yeah I wanted to try those I thought they looked quite fun and then I needed to get a new bottle of Zaflora and I also needed some new wipes they like um, just general household wipes so I found these and I went for the scent springtime which I've not seen before I think it's a new one 
Um, I've not seen it before anyway, but it is springtime and it is a sparkling combination with hints of freshly cut green leaves and herbs that recreates the blossoming of new spring flowers in your home. Like, how nice does that sound? Oh yeah, it's a seasonal scent, so I don't know if it is like um, a new one, but I've not seen this. I've not actually smelt it yet, so I'm just going to have a little quick smell. And this one was, um, I think this one was £4.79, but it is one of the really big bottles, so this one will last ages. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. It is like fresh flowers. It's kind of odd because it smells like there are literally fresh flowers in the bottle. That's quite cool. You know when you're at like the supermarket or you're at a florist and you walk past and they've just put all of their fresh bouquets out in the water? It smells a bit like that. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm looking forward to using that. So I got that and I also got it in the anti-back multi-surface wipes, the same scent. So they'll be good. I did grab just a couple of homey bits. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen I recently did a wardrobe clear out. And I just have now um, to sort out, I've got like all my big winter coats, which take up so much room in my wardrobe. So I've picked up some of these vacuum storage bags. This was just £3 for a two pack. It says they're large, which is 60 by 80 centimetres, which I don't think is that big. But I'm going to see how many of my coats I can fit in here anyway and I'm just going to give them a go. I've never tried vacuum packs before so if you have any tips or if you love them and have a great brand to recommend please let me know but yeah I'm going to try these and see if I like them and fingers crossed it'll save me a lot of space in my wardrobe. Then the final things I've got and storage related again are these velvet storage cubes and it's a two pack for seven pounds so I've got four in total now and what I'm planning on doing we have the Ikea packs in our dressing room the wardrobes and I want to pop these hopefully on top of one of the wardrobes like in a line and I'm going to use these to store our winter bits so things like our winter scarves and gloves because I don't need those out right now I might pop some of our winter shoes in here potentially so then where the winter gloves and scarves are at the minute, I can replace with summer things like our flip flops or etc. So yeah, I got those. These weren't the ones I was originally going to buy. They had some really nice linen ones as well, um, but they didn't have the linen ones in my store and I was a bit impatient um, and wanted to get some there and then, but I thought that these actually looked really nice. I think that they'll add a little bit of a different texture into our dressing room because at the minute it's not finished and it's a bit clinical and a bit white everywhere. So yeah, I think that these actually will be a nice addition and they're the fold out ones. So whilst you're not using them, they easily fold up till you want them again. So yeah, I got that. And that's everything that I got. I'm really glad with everything that I found in store. And they did have a lot of other nice bits and bobs, which I used all of my willpower to resist because I don't need any more home decor at the minute, but a lot of the home decor was really nice. And a lot of the bathroom stuff as well was really good. They had a lot of really nice little bathroom accessories that I've not seen in there before. Oh, and the lighting as well. They had some really nice lampshades. Um, and some table lamps were really good as well so have a look at those if you pop in anytime soon. So I hope you enjoyed having a look through with me. If you found any really good bits and bobs let me know down in the comments below or over on Instagram. I'll leave everything linked down below to my socials. I love to connect and say hi over there and have a chat and I think I'm going to try and film a Father's Day gift guide which some of the bits that I got from B&M I might include in there so 
um yeah please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss that coming up but i hope that you enjoy the rest of your day or the rest of your week take care of yourself and i will see you in my next one